What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's K-Pop and Fallon. We're back with another reaction video today and it's going to be to 21 TV. We're doing season 2 episode 5. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. And thank you for being here and watching this with me. And let's check it out. Alright guys, we're going to be doing episode 5 of season 2 of 21 TV. Um, I was off from my second job tonight and I was going to just chill and relax and watch Netflix. But I was like, you know what? I haven't watched 21 TV in a while, so let's go ahead and record a reaction. Um, so I've got my wine. I've got some chocolates. It's the Ghirardelli chocolate and caramel. They're so good. I like to have my snacks when I watch these longer videos. Um, but anyways, I'm really looking forward to getting into this episode and seeing what happens next. It says in Will I Am's studio, so I guess it's still going to be showing them working with Will I Am. So let's check it out. They were so cute in this episode. Somebody told me in one of my last 21 reactions to react to Menzi's new song, Fantabulous. So I'm probably going to be reacting to that next. It'll probably be uploaded sometime this week. Um, so look forward to that. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I love Big Bang. Sorry to pause again, but speaking of Big Bang, does anybody know if Big Bang or at least G-Dragon, if they're releasing any new music soon. Seems like I saw a while back. Oh, I can't remember the last member that finished their military service. Oh, I can't remember. But it seems like I saw somewhere that G-Dragon, I don't know if it was one or the other, G-Dragon was releasing new music or Big Bang as a group or both of them. But it seems like I saw that somewhere, and I don't know if it wasn't true or if it just, it was true, but it just hadn't happened yet. But if any of you guys know if they plan on releasing new music soon, let me know in the comments below, because I really want to check that out when they do. Knock my mic over, sorry. Oh no.
Iron Man. Iron Man is my favorite Marvel character. That's cool. Oh no. So it's like she's not feeling well. It looks good. <laughs> that guy was zoned out. <laughs> <laughs> Her face. Just a second, guys. I have to turn my heat heat off because it's warm in here. <laughs> Then we do go for it. Yeah. Okay. 
This is crazy. Uh, this is crazy. Uh oh, baby. Uh oh, baby. Perfect. Now let's do another one that we can uh, conquer. Okay. For your love, for your love, for your love, for your love, for your love. It's so perfect. Oh, yeah. There's nothing I can say. So <laughs> Tom Tom. That thing is so cute. You are adorable.
정말 다 사람도 뺄수 없고 너무 감사합니다. So. She's so cute. Her and her food. I love it. What is she wearing? Oh, wow. I was wondering because I didn't see the back of CL's hair. There, there goes Dara with that dead gum braid sticking up. I, I said in another video, I don't know how they get her hair to do that. Bomb's hair red?
That's really cool. Oh, I like the hoodie Dara's got on. Oh, she got matching pants. Give up. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> 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 no, you don't. He's so cute. But T.O.P. is my bias. I don't know. It goes between T.O.P. and G-Dragon back and forth all the time. <laughs> He's so 
goofy. I feel like they're probably so much fun to hang out with. His song, Eyes, Nose, and Lips. Oh my God. I love that song. Vacation at Jeju? I can't wear big hats like that. I don't wear hats much at all, but I don't like big hats. It's cute on her, though. <laughs> they always look so cool. Is that one of their songs? I don't know this song, what is it? There must be a sauna in a boat like that. <laughs> First trip as a group. We had Dara with laugh jacket on. That does look like fun. Is 
it's nice to see them going on a trip and enjoying themselves and their time together. I'm doing some fishing. Midget fish? I'll catch you when you're grown. <laughs> Do any of you guys ever go fishing? I don't ever go fishing. I've been fishing a few times in my life. When I was a kid, I grew up on a fish farm. So uh, we mailed fish. It's a whole process. But we sent fish to different pet stores around the U.S. So I grew up around fish as a kid. And it was my first job when I was 13 working for my uh, uncle and uh, when I was I would go I think they let me fish in one of the ponds that you know that we had that had fish in it and I caught like a baby brim and, and something else when I was a kid but anytime I've ever gone fishing as an adult which it hasn't been many times it's like two or three times I've never caught anything I get sticks and stuff like that I've never caught a fish so I don't really have an interest in it. And plus, I'm a big animal lover, so even if I caught something, I would throw it back in the water, catch and release. So yeah, I'm not a big fisher. But let me know if you guys ever fish, or if you enjoy it, if you don't, if you've caught anything. <laughs> That's me. I wouldn't catch anything. Oh, that looks fun. Oh, that's right. They have karaoke. <laughs> Who are the other people on the boat? Is that like staff members? Somebody from the company? Bada and Eugene? Shu? This guy in the back does not look amused. <laughs> It's nice to see them having fun. Go, go, go. <laughs> All right, bomb, I see you. Hosing. What is the Goblin Road? Speaking of the Goblin Road. I don't know what that is, but the first K drama I ever watched was Goblin. I got into K dramas before I got into K pop. Just a little story. Um, one of my good friends I know from I know her from the military. Um, she told me to watch Goblin, and I was like, okay, let me watch it. And it was so good. I think I've seen it three times now. Like the whole thing, I've seen it three times. I've watched it and then I've rewatched it. Um, by myself and then I rewatched it with a friend of mine 
because I was trying to get her into K-dramas. Um, and now I've seen so many K-dramas, I don't even know how many I've seen now. Um, and then, after that, the same friend, Christina, she was a BTS fan. And I knew she was a fan of this Asian boy group. I didn't know anything about them. And I was like, well, you know, she got me into K-dramas. Let me check out BTS and see what they're about. And I've been hooked to BTS and K-pop ever since. Um, but it just made me think of that when they said The Goblin Road. It made me think of that drama, Goblin. Uh, let me know if you guys have seen Goblin in the... Uh, let me know in the comments below. And the soundtrack to Goblin is amazing. I have it on my Spotify. Um, and let me know what some of your favorite K-dramas are. I've watched so many. Um, Goblin, Scarlet Heart Rio. Um, is it Boys with Flowers or Flower Boys? Something like that. Uh, Itawan Class. It's okay to not be okay is one of my favorites. I'm watching Jerison right now, which will be on my Patreon. Um, but I just started it, and uh, I've only seen the first episode, but the first episode was really good. Um, so, yeah, let me know which uh, K-dramas you guys like in the comments. Is that just paparazzi taking pictures of them? <laughs> Mr. Goblin, push us some more. I've been horseback riding a few times. You have to respect the animal. So pretty. <laughs> As bangs like me. <laughs> <laughs> so is this all of their first time ever riding a horse? Specialist. Big butt's good at riding a horse. <laughs> Horses can be intimidating though because they're big, but they're so beautiful. Dara looks a little nervous. He's <laughs> holding her wrist, making her pet her. You can do it, Dara. There she goes. Aww. Oh, she's crying. No. I don't like to see them cry. It makes me cry.
so Dara didn't end up riding one. They, it, it is scary. They're intimidating animals because they're huge. And they can kick you. They can, you know, rear up and knock you off. Like, it is scary. I've ridden a horse a few times. I did when I was a teenager just because I had fam family members that had horses. And so I would ride them sometimes when I was a teenager when I would visit them. But I didn't, like, ride them all the time. So I wasn't, like, experienced or anything. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but then... Uh, me and my aunt went horseback riding two different times. Um, and even though I've been on one before, every time I get on one, I'm nervous because it's a new horse. It's a different horse and anything can spook them or anything. And like, especially, or if like something spooks them and they take off running or something like that would scare the crap out of me. I wouldn't know what to do. Um, but as long as the the horse is nice and cooperates and they do what you know uh do what you want them to do it's very nice and it can be relaxing and i haven't had any issues with being a hurt or anything riding a horse um but i can understand dara's fear and her being scared to ride a horse because it, it is intimidating they're big animals they are powerful and they can hurt they could probably kill you if they kick you in the head or something like that. So, it's a very legitimate fear. So, I understand um, why she's scared to ride one totally. I just hope she didn't feel left out because she didn't do it. Oh, look at the little ponies. Who is this guy? Uh, who's the guy leading Menzies' horse? Cause he looks cute. <laughs> of course, I would notice the cute boys. That's some nice scenery too. It's pretty. I feel bad for Dara because I'm sure she wanted to do it. Aww. She tried though. She tried. She got on the horse and that was a big step for somebody who is scared to ride a horse. At least she was able to get on the horse. So I commend her for that. Stir fried chicken. That sounds good. <laughs> Ooh, beef fried rice. That sounds so good, too. I feel my forehead. <laughs> That looks good. I 
I can't eat anything spicy though. I can't cook, y'all. I can't cook for shit. <laughs> Of course they're eating. Oh. That would be so fun to have a barbecue with 21. So are these like staff members that are eating with them, I guess? <laughs> You'll lose weight. Tired. <laughs> Bomb's so cute. Remix. Oh, so Taiji and the boys. <laughs> It is pretty. Pretty face. Mm. 
그냥 푹 쉬어 올때 좋을 것 같아요. 수영도 하고 그때까지 몸매를 갖고 와서 <웃음> 수영도 하고 그래야 될것 같습니다. Careful. <웃음> 이스큐아브씬헤몬썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸썸
Oh my goodness, what's the other guy's name? Daesung? I think that's his name. They don't really show them a lot on 21 TV. If Big Bang is ever on here, it's always G Dragon and T.O.P. And then sometimes Taehyung. Unless it's a group setting, like a, a party, a, a, a something or other, then maybe you'll see the other two. But a lot of times, like as far as in the studio when they're doing work, it's always the other three. So it's kind of weird. I would like to see Daesung a lot more. <sighs> Soongi. Y'all know with all the controversy with his, all that stuff, I, I don't know. I kind of don't really pay attention to him anymore. But I love the other four guys. But anyways, it was a great episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you guys think about this episode. And please answer any of the questions I may have had um, throughout the episode, if you don't mind. Um, I'm still learning a lot about these ladies. And I really enjoy uh, the 21 journey I've been going on. And I can't believe this was already episode 5. Uh, I will get to 6 as soon as I can. These longer videos uh, take a little longer to record, edit, and upload. So I don't, I don't do them, you know, back to back. Because I try to get other shorter videos on the channel. Because I'm trying to get more content on there. But as I've said in past videos, I'm always busy. I work two jobs. I'm in the military. And so sometimes even if I have the time off, I just want to rest. Mm -hmm. So I try to get out what I can. And hopefully in, an, in a few months, um, I'll be able to have more time to put more content on the channel. Um, also, my Patreon. I did a reaction to, it was called Mama... Legends 2021 or did it say 2021? I'm I'm so dumb 21 not the year 21 <laughs> Y'all I'm tired Mama Legends 21 It was a segment on 21 at Mama um, And it was an interview with the ladies um, about the the performance that CL did with them in 2015 I think when it was a surprise performance when all the other ladies joined her um and of course it got blocked on youtube so i put it on my youtube on my patreon channel um i had it in the three dollar tier which is the tier for anything that gets blocked on youtube um but i recently put it on there for free and i'm going to have it on there for free for the next week so if you guys want to jump over to Patreon and check it out while it's free, I will leave the description or the link in the description box below so you can go check that out. But after a week, it will be back in the $3 tier um, where all my blocked videos from YouTube will be. Um, but yeah, definitely check it out. It, I cried. It had me in tears because I won't give too much away, but they were pretty much watching, re-watching that performance, or I think it was the performance and they were crying, and it was when they won Best New Artist and Artist of the Year. And so they were crying when they were talking about it, watching it. I think it was just Menzi and Bomb crying. can't remember if Dara cried. CL didn't, because she's strong like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I can't see them cry and not cry. So I got a little emotional in it. But anyway, so if you want to check that out, go over to my Patreon, check that out while it's free for the next week. And um, I can't wait to get into season, oh my god, I cannot talk, y'all. I am tired. I can't wait to get to episode 6 of season 2 of 21. Y'all bear with me, please. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and watching this with me. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and if you enjoyed the content. And let me know what else I should react to in the future in the comments below, whether it's 21 or anybody else. And I love you all. Thank you so much for watching this with me and for being here and supporting my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.